keep going on court every every morning with the motivation to to improve something is because you you feel you feel the game no? you you feel the sport and uh, you appreciate i'm gonna play with my highest passion and uh, love for for the game and for the sport to to try to to have success I lost a lot of opportunities for, for injuries and uh, I know the, the years are going uh, quick so there is not uh, 10 more chances to, to keep playing here so I, I just enjoy the, the fact that I am here again. He is a big favorite against everybody. And still, I I know how to play against him. I, I have a plan, and I will I will try everything that that my plan also gonna work out a little bit here, and not only in the in Madrid or in Rome. Of course, there is a pressure on, especially in the Grand Slam finals, because I I've went the. Uh, very long way now and I don't want to lose the finals but at the other hand I, it's so tough to, to go all the way in, in such a tournament and uh, I think if I'm facing Rafa I'm not the one who, who has the pressure. When I start the clay court season Dominic is, is one of these players that have the chance to win every tournament that he's playing and maybe even more here in Roland Garros because he's uh, strong physically, he, he has the power. Some say it's the biggest task in sport, not tennis, in sport right now, and that's beating Rafa Nadal over the best of five sets on courts, Philippe Chatrier. And that, Matt, is the task that has been set for Dominic Thiem. It's a 40 love. It serves in again onto the forehand. It's team, the off forehand, Nadal. Team is scrambling. Now Nadal will go inside and down the line. Team the backhand cross court, and Nadal puts away the volley. What a start! Forehand again from team. Goes cross court to the Nadal backhand who goes cross court. Team who gets a bit more angle now on the backhand. Nadal answers. Team pulls one across court. His first real winner of the match. And he has break back points at 15-40. I was pretty calm and I knew that I, I go into it like it would be any other match. I think this was the right approach because if I let it too much uh, happen, my emotions, everything, because it's the first Grand Slam final, it wouldn't uh, suit my game very well. Forehand inside and Nadal, backhand from team cross court. Nadal's there of the forehand. Here's team unleashing on the forehand to the backhand of Nadal who goes cross court. Team on the run, the forehand cross court. Drop shot from Nadal. Team will run this down. Oh, he back to Nadal who hits it past him for the winner. Backhand from team. Now the forehand from Nadal. Forehand again from team cross court. Nadal's there. Lovely pointless. Forehand uh, team down the line. Nadal. Slice put in. Drop shot. Nadal will get there. Cross court. Team down the line. Makes the pass. Game point team. I was uh, really fighting and playing from the first to the last moment. I just missed some close balls and uh, in general it was a game wise it was a good game it was just terrible misses so team serves love 40 gets her first serve but the return is good onto the forehand team he's broken to love and rafael nadal the defending champion takes the opening set of the final surface that you need to fight you can play aggressive you can play defensive the surface allows you to to play different ways and uh, there is not only one way that you can be successful here comes team he scoops up he goes down the line can Nadal pass him the defensive body from Dominic team can Nadal pass him yes he can 
He's a short phrase that combines a lot of things, no? physical, uh, demanding, uh, strategic, uh, you know, uh, tactical, uh, and of course, um, mental resistance. No? Throws the court, the backhand down the line from Nadal. Kicks up so high. Backhand into the tram line from Dominic Team. And there's a fist bump from Rafa Nadal. Seniors and clock. Second serve down to the Nadal backhand who hits it big and deep onto the forehand team. Nadal goes cross court on the runners team. Short Nadal down the line. The backhand from team now. Here's Nadal onto his forehand, peppering away at the backhand of team. Oh, this has got a, a familiar story to it as Nadal swats one. It's wide from Dominic team down the line from Nadal. He breaks serve. I think it was the. Uh, first time against him uh, here in Roland Garros where it was a fight it was it was a decent match from my side uh, he was playing very well I think and uh, there's a reason why he won 11 times here it's uh, definitely uh, one of the best things somebody ever achieved in sports Nadal Serves now a fifth match point. He serves out to the team backhand. Down the line! It is long from a Dominic team! Rafa, the incomparable in Paris! 6-4, 6-3, 6-2! He crushes Dominic team! Two hours and 42 minutes! An 11th Roland Garros title! A 17th Grand Slam for Rafa Nadal! Memories are forever, and I have incredible memories of, of this event. Since the first time that I came here until today, is a love story with this event. It was a very special moment, and received the, you know, that minute or two minutes of the of the crowd. Uh, supporting or that, that feeling in that moment was difficult to describe, but very emotional for me.